Hey guys, good morning. Okay, so I decided to make a video about of me making some enchiladas. I am not the best cook in the world. I'm not in the, the best cook at all. But anyway, so just because we're in quarantine and I have nothing else to do, so I mean, I have a lot to do, but I decided to make some enchiladas, so let's go. All right, so I'm gonna make some ground beef enchiladas. I've already made my meat. I didn't have any of the seasoning packets, so I improvised and I used el pato sauce, which is gonna make them nice and spicy. I um, I put el pato sauce and some of that chicken bouillon, or whatever it's called, um, in it, and it tastes pretty good. So here we go. I'm gonna be frying my tortillas right there. I'm gonna be soaking them in the salsa and then wrapping them up and then putting the cheese in them. Can I help you? <laughs> All right, and then here I am gonna make some rice. Ooh. All right, so I don't know how hot this is. Oh, not very hot because it was on low. But I'm gonna be frying the tortillas in there. Okay, for my rice, I'm gonna put one part, one cup of um, rice in it. So one cup of rice to two cups of water. And I'm gonna let it fry up and then I'm gonna put some garlic in there. All right, so now I'm gonna fry up some tortillas. I guess this is not hot enough still. Just a little, not too much. You don't want them to get hard. Now, my sister cooks really good, and I always tell her to make a YouTube video, but she doesn't want to. She says, I don't know how. All right, so I already fried these up a little. I'm gonna let the oil drip, and then I'm gonna put them in here. And there. This is the way I make them, okay? I know, I know. It's probably not the right way, but this is the way I make them. All right, so do that. All right, my rice is getting nice and brown. So I'm gonna make some red Spanish rice. That's nice and brown, so I'm gonna put some garlic in it now. All right, so now I'm gonna get some of my meat for my enchiladas. I'm gonna put a little bit of meat in there. Not too much, because then they won't close. And then I'm gonna close, wrap them up. And just wrap them up like this. See, got my enchiladas right there. Now I forgot to put garlic in the rice. All right, so there's my rice. I am going to put some minced garlic in it. I'm not gonna use, um, where's that? I'm gonna put some minced garlic in it, and we love garlic, so I put a good, a good amount. I put it in there. Mm -hmm. All right, and good. So so good. Alrighty. All right, then I'm gonna put one can of tomato sauce in my rice. And then remember the little cup that I got? This cup, I'm gonna fill this up with water twice. So there's one. Two. 
And then I always put a little bit more just so the rice could come out nice and fluffy. And then I mix it well. Then I let it come to a boil before putting some of my seasoning in it. In the meantime, I keep working on my enchiladas. Another three tortillas. Just turn them over like this. And add more meat. Hey guys, settle down. My grandkids are going crazy. Kalea. All right, now that my rice is boiling a little bit, well, it's not quite boiling yet, but <clears throat> let me turn it up. I can't reach. We are going to add some of this chicken caldo con sabor a pollo chicken flavor bulon or bulon or whatever I don't know how to say it but anyway and I just pour some in mix it mix it very very well then I taste it bit more. Just like that. Mix it again. By this time it's already cooked. Looks like soup right now. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So now it's boiling. The seasoning's in there and I'm just going to lower the fire and let it cook. Alright, in the meantime, I am going to keep wrapping my enchiladas here. I left these in the fryer a little bit too. Not in the fryer, but in the pan that I'm frying them in. Oh crap. See, I told you. I'm not very patient when I cook. All right, I don't just let my rice sit and cook. I keep moving it around because I want it to cook evenly. So give it a little, a little spin there. Oh, the fire's a little too low, so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. All right, so my enchiladas are done. And since I have meat left, I'm gonna Put it all on the enchiladas. It's not much, but I'm just gonna put the meat on top of the enchiladas like this. Then I put some shredded Mexican style blend cheese all on my enchiladas right on top. We love cheese, so we put quite a bit. Alright, then I'm going to cut up some tomatoes. And 
little squares. tomatoes there. All right, in the meantime, my rice is looking pretty darn good. Oh, I love freshly made rice. Yummy, yummy. Let it sit there and cook a little bit longer. Then I'm going to cut up some olives. Ouch, I just poked myself. Cooking is a lot of hard work. That's why I think I don't care for it too much. I've never been a cook, but my sister is. She cooks very, very, very good. And her food, I mean, she cooks everything. She cooks birria, ceviche, caldo de res. Um, I do too, but I really don't care for cooking too much. I love olives, so I put a lot of olives on my enchiladas. Mmm, I had to taste one. This is a full can of olives. Mm, maybe I won't, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm almost done cutting. Hey, Papa. Wow. All right, now I put the rest of the salsa, the enchilada sauce, on my inches like this. Then I put tomatoes on top. Looks good. Thank you, my love. Are you gonna try them or no? No. <laughs> they look good, but he's not trying them because he doesn't like them. No. All right, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna put too much tomato because not everybody likes it. I do. Then I go in and put my olives. Mm. I love olives. I love olives. You know what? I am going to put all the tomato in there with the olives. All of the olives? All of them. Oh, wow. Like that. Does, I won't put onions on them because I don't like onions. I hate onions, but I like this. And then, then I'm gonna add a little bit of more cheese on top. Then I'm gonna stick them in the oven um, uncovered. They won't go covered because everything's cooked. All I want to do is just melt the cheese. All right, so they're in the oven now and I'm not going to time it. I'm just going to be watching them and wait until all my cheese melts. And then I'll take them out. There's my rice. I'll turn that off and just let it cook with the steam. Whatever needs to cook when it's ready. All right, so my dishes are done and my enchiladas are ready and that's what they look like. My rice is ready. Mm, no, time to eat. I'm the first one who gets to try it. And there you go. Ground beef enchiladas with rice, sour cream, and avocado. Yummy. 
All right, guys, so that's the video of my enchiladas. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that little bell so you guys could get notified every time I post something. And I will soon because we'll be quarantined all the whole month of April, so I'll probably be posting all my activities, workouts, and everything I do here. So until next time, guys, bye.